Do you want me to show you how you can pass your A2 course to fly this drone in more places in less than 24 hours? Let me show you now. So depending on which country you're in, there are flying restrictions all over the place. It's really hard to understand each different restriction each country has. So I know we have viewers from all over the world, so each country is different. I'm going to be doing separate videos onto your countries. So in America, you have different flying restrictions. In Canada, we've got the restrictions. You need pilot licenses over a certain weight. And in the UK, it's just a complete minefield on the restrictions along with Europe. So today for this video, I'm going to be talking solely about the UK. And then if you're from one of the countries, please just sit back, relax, and you'll probably learn something. And then I will do future videos following up for your countries as well. But today, let's talk about the UK. So let's just talk about these two drones. So the DJI Mini 2 is still a fantastic drone and I love this drone, but it has its restrictions, okay? So although the portability is fantastic, the camera quality is great, the photos are great, people start to want more out of their drone. So what do we want on the DJI Mini 3 or 2S? We want active track, we want sensors, we want one sensor on it. We want everything on this drone that's already on this drone. Now, the problem is it's the weight. It can't go over 250 grams. So DJI are limited what they can put into this next drone. So the next one was the DJI Air 2S, but then these restrictions where you can fly and what can you do and all this. So let's talk about that now. So let's just quickly touch on the differences of these. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how you get this qualification within 24 hours. So this drone, obviously you can fly in more places, but the downside is it doesn't have active track and the features which this drone does. This drone, without the qualification, you have to keep a separation distance of 150 meters from pretty much anywhere that you wanna go and fly, unless you're out in the countryside in the middle of nowhere. So you need to have this qualification. Once you've got the A2 qualification, that separation distance of 150 meters from these places is gone. So that's a huge advantage. You can then fly this at beaches, you can fly it at parks, uh, forests, any, anywhere you want to fly this drone. The only separation distance you'll have is from an uninvolved person, which is a 50 meter distance. If they're involved, you've told them, they agree to it, they're with you, they're privy to what you're doing, then they are no longer uninvolved, you can fly near to them okay so a huge huge advantage of getting that qualification is you can fly this drone in places you want to fly it so then you can fly this drone with the active track you can track yourself i was on a jet ski the other day and it was tracking me whilst i was on a jet ski it was awesome i can track this when i'm on a bike i can track this at a park i might remember children running it can track us you know it's fantastic it opens up so many possibilities hyperlapse looks brilliant and it's a great feature i love using hyperlapse so although i love dji mini 2 and it is going nowhere and i'll still use it all the time i am carrying both more and more because the features on this are also fantastic now what was the problem with the a2 course before everything that's going on currently so before the trouble with you the a2 course was you had to go to cities or towns that maybe not live in it's time and effort constraints now they're all online so the website uav hub which i'm not sponsored by at all it's just my personal opinion does everything online for you including the test it's incredible just how fast you can get this but the knowledge is spot on and i was blown away by the owner matt who does this he is ex-military and everything is in small segments of information. So these are little bite-sized videos which you watch. There is no PowerPoint at all. So you just watch these probably last in two to three minutes each one. I think a couple of them were like seven, eight minutes of right at the very start. But you go through each section then you move on to the next one until you get to the mock test. You can have multiple chances at the mock test and I'll talk to you about that in a second. And then you do your main test. So the testing is 24 hours a day. So you can book a test at one o'clock in the morning if you wish. So from a standpoint of if you have a day off or a weekend or something and you pay for this course the night before, you could go on, start it either straight away or the next morning. You can go through all of it. Once you feel confident, you can book a test. Now there are basically slots available either that same day or the next day, 24 hours a day. You book that and then you get an independent person. You just do it online with like a, on Zoom, I think it was, and then you get your results. And then that same day or the next day, you're going to get your qualification emailed to you. And then you get a qualification you can print off unbelievable and the best bit is is because 
he, he, the guy has who's done it so well. I'm inc I'm incredibly impressed that you you go through all these sections. You do your mock tests now. I can't show you obviously, but if you do your mock tests again and again and again, you're going to pass with flying colours. Let me just give you that hint. But it's it's such a great way of getting that A2 qualification. So then you can then fly this drone in the areas that you want to fly it. This qualification lasts for five years. So when the C2 drones start coming into play, with this A2 qualification, you can then in the low speed mode, which what we'll have on the C2 drones is you can have a separation distance of five meters from an uninvolved person. So that separation distance goes from 150 meters, which we have currently with no qualification, to 50 meters if they're uninvolved, to five meters in low speed mode. Unbelievable. And if you don't want to lose, use like low speed mode, it goes down to 30 meters. So five years of this qualification and you can do it so quickly and you're going to be able to then fly any of these two drones, but get the most out of this. Yes, this is going to be a legacy drone, but you're going to have at least 18 months of actually play with this. This will last you until the next drone comes out. Hopefully then that will have the C2 stamp on it. But for at least a year, you're going to be able to fly this in areas that you want to fly at your track. Have such great fun with this. Sell this, get a good value for it, and then just pay a little bit more and get the next drone. And that's generally how I step upgrade to the next drone all the time. I'll keep it, I'll use it, I'll use it to death. I'll abuse it horrendously. And then I'll then sell it, get a bit of money for it, and put that money towards the next drone. And I've always got the latest drone then, rather than just keeping it. And then as you keep it, the price will deteriorate and deteriorate and deteriorate. So if you want to check this website out, I'll link it all in the description below. Now you might be saying, what about Article 16 Flying Club? That's great, yeah, but you don't, they don't allow for any automatic flying mode. So active track, you can't use residential, recreational areas, anything like that. So for me, I would rather have the A2 because then I can use that. I don't want to have a bigger drone and not be able to actually use its all its features. So relating to commercial operations as well, with commercial insurance, and for me doing this is for experience, bigger higher level clients which have more budget, you know, they will have more restrictions. So they might say, you know, the camera has to be this quality. We want some low light nighttime shots. So you don't want to be rocking up with your Mini 2 because the Mini 2 is awesome, but at low light with the sensor size, that's where it differs. So you're going to be turning down money. Also, a, a number one is surveys, roof surveys. You know, in residential areas, you can then use this. You can utilize the zoom on here, which is more powerful. The sensor, which is obviously clear and a bigger sensor. So you could then do a bit of roofing surveys on the side, or you could use this for more commercial operations. It's, it gives you more opportunity to make more money. You can still make money with this. Yeah, I've done videos on this, it's 100%, but you can make more with this. Let me just tell you that. So this is another point. It used to cost hundreds to do your A2 course. It used to cost generally around about the 400 pound mark, depending on where you went. At the moment, this is 99 pound to get this qualification. It's like a fast track course. And then if you want to, you can do extra courses with this dude as well. He does like the GVC course and different masterclass courses. So I have nothing but admiration for this guy and the way he's put this together to be able to get you flying in more areas without just being heavily restricted to just this DJI Mini 2. Although this Mini 2 is fantastic, being able to fly this drone, you might want to pick two drones up, you know, and have both. Or you might just want to get just one drone and be able to fly it in more areas, and this is good enough for you. So I know it's, I wanted to give this video because there's so many information out there, and it's so, it's so boring to hear because it's just so dull and dry. And this guy here just gives you this information, the information that you need, you even get bonus material uh, about low flying military aircraft and how low they can fly in the areas that they're flying in. And you can look to see where these military aircraft could be practicing and doing evasive maneuvers and doing all this. And you need to know where they are and how you can get in contact with air traffic control and military bases. Stuff like that that you don't get on other courses is a bonus material in here for free as well. Incredible. So go and check this out. I really highly recommend you get this course. You're gonna have fun with this, you know, it's, it's only an advantage to you, especially it's going to last five years as well. Take care, guys. Go and check this out. See you soon. Bye-bye.